Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we have a treat for you today. It's a tutorial, and we're going to make our mouse work. We're going to make it work for us. Actually, we're going to make the keyboard work like a mouse. So go into your control panel. We go to ease of access. Now we're going to change how the keyboard works. I know it's a mouse tutorial. Trust me here. Click on change how the keyboard works. First option right here. Turn on mouse keys. Then we're going to, and we need to go in here, set up mouse keys. Make sure that it's just turned on. Keyboard shortcuts. We don't care for that right now. We don't care about it. Just leave it point speeds you can turn them up if you want to play with the arrow or moving it around but again that's not what we care about down here these settings are what we care about these other settings use mouse keys when numlock is on or off we want to use them when the numlocks off because when the numlock is on well we want to use the numbers that's why we have the number pad this is for just the number pad on the right hand side that's all we're talking about just those set of numbers and the few buttons around it that's what we're playing with and then we want it to display mouse keys we want this to be displayed on our taskbar so we click apply and that's it it's on now we have to do is actually click the right buttons to make it work now, as you can see down here in the bottom right-hand corner, down by the clock stuff, there's your mouse, your, your fake mouse. It's your number pad. Right now, it, mine has a red X on it because I've got my num lock on. So if I type with my number pads, I get numbers. Hit it again. There we go. Now, you can see a little grayed out. I, I hope you can see that okay. I, I don't have a zoom feature here. But how it's grayed out a little bit for the left mouse button. Now up here by the num lock, you know that's off. I can see the I can type numbers now, but I can't use the number pad as mouse. Turn it off now. My number pad will act like a mouse. The other buttons again. We're staying right on the ten keypad. Don't use the other buttons on your keyboard. Just these numbers pad buttons. There's the divide button or backslash. That's the one for controlling the left mouse button. This will tell the computer that when we hit our lock button, we're locking the left mouse button down. If you hit the dash or the minus button over here, that's for the right mouse button. And that's the one we want to use. Then the next step is we want to, again, only on the number pad, not the other zero at the top there, use the zero on the number pad hit that and see how it turned dark now we've got that locked we've got that set in we hit that button we are going to hold just like holding down the right mouse button and that's what we want to do so we're going to jump in here to our single player world um, sometimes so you know the uh, when you turn that on you have to right click with the mouse button to turn it off. When you turn it on for the right mouse button, you right click with the mouse button to turn it off. And then your mouse will work properly again. A little thing at the beginning. But yeah, let's go into our tutorial world. Yes, go, 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 go. Come on, Minecraft. Yeah, we love our Minecraft. So here we are in our airplane, our crashed airplane. We, we did a little housekeeping to begin with, make things look nice, put out fires. Yep, so here is our sieve. Here is our pile of dust. We right click. Well, yeah, after a few pieces, our hand gets tired. And that's why we set up this number pad. So you make sure you hit the dash button. You know, that's to turn it on. It'll beep at you. That turns it back off or turns turns the light off for the numpad but actually turns our feature off so we hit the minus key on the number pad we hit the zero on the number pad and look at that well I would say look at that but I don't have a camera pointing at me showing you that I'm just hitting here twiddling my thumbs now this thing's just going to town without me 
I don't have to click on anything. My hand's not going to get tired. I don't have to sit there and crack my knuckles to get my fingers working again. And it'll just, it'll just keep going and going and going. Even when you run out of dust, it'll keep going. And it's doing all that sifting for us. We don't have to do any work at all. That's so awesome. And that, that pretty much concludes the tutorial. I mean, the other thing we can do, we can hit the dash button. And now, or I'm sorry, I, we hit the backslash. Again, on the number pad, over there on the right on the number pad. If you don't use that, it doesn't work right. And we hit the button. All of a sudden, look at that. We're, we're busting blocks. Because this is just like we were holding down the left button. So if you had a bunch of sand to clear, like you do at the beginning, boom, you just hold it down. And I, I'm just using the, uh, you know, my, my, my walk forward button is all I'm doing. But I'm not holding down that mouse button. Big, big difference. Same thing. I hit the, hit the button again, the left mouse button, because that's the one we had automated. And now everything's working normal again. Well, I decided I didn't want that hole. So we're going to hit the dash. So now we're talking right mouse button. And you got to be kind of good at this to be able to do. But it will. It'll hold down your right mouse button. You'll walk back and place all the blocks you want. Wherever you look, it's going to place a block. We're going to right click to turn that off because otherwise we'd have blocks everywhere. And the mouse still works normal. Left click breaks them. Right click to set them down. All right, I hope that helps. Just remember, use always the number pad buttons or the, the uh, use the keys on that number pad. And that's how you can lock this stuff in. So you can automatically left click or right click excessive amounts without having to hold the button yourself. All right, we're done. Yay. All right, we'll see you later. Bye-bye. Yay.